In 2016, Yeezy dropped their now iconic Black Friday pack. It was a trio of all black Yeezys with a colored stripe on the side, of course, copper, red, and Oreo. Well, here in 2022, they're different, but they're back. And that's because there's a new kid on the block. And of course, that is today's pair of sneakers, guys. We're taking a look at the Yeezy 350 V2 Dazzling Blue. All right, so here we have the box, a nice little Yeezy 350 box. Nothing has changed. You would expect maybe a slight change here in 2022. Maybe they'd freshen it up, uh, but no, this is exactly what you would expect from a Yeezy. I'm super excited to check these out. It's like the, the first huge release of 2022. Let's get into it, guys. The Yeezy 350 V2 Dazzling Blue. Here we go, take a look at this. The fresh, clean pair of 2022 Yeezy. Man, coming from someone who really wanted one of those colorways from that pack, it's so cool to finally have one. I know it's a different colorway, but still, this one's clean. And hey, maybe you're not a fan of this new edition. Well, guess what, guys? There is going to be a restock of the red colorway and the Oreo. All three of these are gonna create a new pack coming very, very soon. Maybe you're a fan of this brand new dazzling blue colorway and you want to get your hands on it. Well, let's talk about the release because you got to get ready for that. So these actually drop on February the 26th. Now the retail price on these apparently is going to be moving on up like a lot of things nowadays. So apparently these are going to retail at $230 instead of $220. And I would assume that means these are going to retail for about 200 pounds here in the UK as opposed to what they used to retail for 180. Now I can't say that that's 100% the new retail price point. We have to wait until these actually load up. As of this filming, they haven't actually loaded up on the confirmed app yet, but again, that is what is rumored, so I just wanted to make sure you guys are prepared for that. Now, along with the new price point, there are a few things that you definitely need to know about this pair of sneakers before you make your decision on whether you want to buy it or not, so let's get into it. At first, I wasn't completely sold on this colorway, but seeing how the black and the blue just play off of each other so nicely and how dark that black is, it really sold me on this colorway. I'm a big fan of this blue and the black mixed together. And I thought a great little combo would be the Yeezy Gap hoodie, but I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So the first big question that I had about this pair of sneakers is how are they going to fit and feel? Now you may be thinking, bruh, it's just another Yeezy 350. You should know by now. and that's kind of what I thought, but at the same time, this is a 2016 retro, and as we know, the 350 model has been slightly evolving over those years. And I can say with 100% certainty that there are some pretty big differences between a 2016 retro and uh, a 350 that dropped in 2020. It's a little bit harder to directly compare these to any specific pair of Yeezys as there has been so many different variations of materials that we've found on past Yeezy 350s. Some came with much thinner knit material, some came with slightly thicker, we've had even plastic mesh. There's just been a lot of variations, but generally speaking, I feel like these 2016 retros, or at least this one specifically, has a much tighter and not so stretchy upper. Thank you. 
and I can definitely feel that when I put my foot into these, it feels a lot more narrow and constrictive, so you definitely want to be going a half size up, uh, maybe even a full size up. I would say one of the best, more recent comparisons would be the Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga. Whatever size you went with on that pair, depending on how you found it, uh, go with the exact same size on this sneaker. Honestly, a half size up should do the trick. You just maybe wear these super loose in terms of the lacing and you'll be good to go. Now another thing that I wanted to point out is the brand new logo that you're going to be finding on all of the latest Yeezys. And that is that little globe logo that you find on the insole of the left pair of sneakers. Now this branding is supposed to represent the fact that this sneaker is made with some degree of recycled materials. The pair also comes with a little tag basically stating exactly what I just said, that the sneaker is made from some amount of recycled materials. As to how much recycled materials is in this pair of 350s, we don't actually know and in fact the information out there does not say anything. There's even a little QR code that you get on the tag and even if you scan that it just goes to a splash page of different information on their recycled products that they've collaborated with Parley to accomplish. Honestly I think that this is going to be a super wearable colorway like it's going to find a very easy place in my rotation. I mainly just wear 350s to the gym or if I'm just running out of the house doing errands such an easy throw on. Easy is finding a way to get this sneaker back in my rotation because they are dropping some incredible colorway. Just think about it, the end of the last year we got a Beluga restock and now we're getting the return of the Black Friday pack upcoming, we're getting an all over triple white colorway and then that Onyx black colorway. There's just so much to like about the 350 silhouette. They're going hard with these new colorways. So these are dropping this month. If you wanted something a little bit newer but at the same time still that OG look that you found on that Black Friday pack or whether you wanted to stick with the OGs, the Oreo or the Red Stripe, well those are going to be dropping dropping later down the line this year. Spring, summertime, you could probably expect them to pop up. Either way, I'm seriously liking what Yeezy Brand is doing with the 350 model. They're, they're dropping some banger colorways and what more could we ask for with this silhouette? Because I'd love to know your thoughts. Is this something you're gonna be going for on February the 26th? If you are, let me know down in the comment section uh, or if you're not, let me know why not. But thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.